Go for it. Hi, my name is Simba Kun Cosplay. Welcome to my ASMR panel. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I know. <laughs> Hi, my name is Simba Kun, um, and this is my cosplay to budget prop edition. Um, go ahead and come on in, find a seat. Um, I'm going to be discussing tips and tricks on how to make props that look really awesome for not a lot of money, and the process of how to do that easily, where you can be able to find some of the items, um, where you can buy some of them online, some of them physically, some of them not, and then at the end of the panel, I'll be going through um, a question and answer portion for anyone that has any questions. So if you could please hold your questions till the end. And then this is the lovely. Hi, I'm the Vanna White you never wanted. My name is Rocky Rance Cosplay. Um, Tim has been guiding me through my lovely cosplay journey for about <laughs> six or seven years now. Um, yeah, I'm here to show things off and maybe talk about some of the cheap props that I've put together because props don't need to be expensive and they really shouldn't be. But they should light up. No, they shouldn't. I will never be a hero of cosplay because I don't know how to work an LED. Yes. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm sitting this way because I have a tail on and it doesn't fit through the back of chairs. Um, so I have to straddle a chair because otherwise I can't sit He's down. He's a cool kid. Um, most of my cosplay is off right now because I built the majority of it um, this year, so you can. So I'm going to go through the process of what I did with the big props, um, but I'll start at the easy ones. Um, um, the very first prop that I built, like prop, prop. Um, Ashley isn't here because it was um, a little um, not within the range of most conventions anymore. In the sense of their weapons policy, it should pass normally, but it's not a safety color anymore. Um, how many of you have watched Naruto? Um, yeah. Asuma Sensei, his kunai. So I did Asuma as my as my very first cosplay, and I built his kunai out of wood. Like I took a Dremel, cut the pieces of wood, glued them together, painted them, everything. Um, and I thought they were going to have because every year they have a computer with a projector, and I don't know why it doesn't exist here this year. So I can't show you that I was expecting it, and I asked for it. But if you dig through the bowels of his Instagram, you will find it. It'll and be it's there. Also, you have a tutorial. I actually have a YouTube tutorial of it, yeah. um, of how I built it on YouTube. It has like 6,000 views. I'm not trying to be a YouTuber. I just put it up there for people to view if they wanted to learn how to make them. So it exists there. Um, just look up Asuma Kunai, and it comes right up. It's the first one. Um, the second prop is this lovely one. So I um, cosplay Grunkle Stan from Gravity Falls. And I couldn't find a cane that kind of fit my size because of how large I am that kind of looked correct because an eight ball is so tiny compared to me as a human. And in the anime, his eight ball's giant, even though he's a large man. So I went to Michael's and I bought that wooden dowel for $2. I bought a clear ornament for a dollar and I poured paint on the inside of it, ran, rolled it around, dumped it out and let it dry for a week. That's all that is. And then once it was dry, slapped that thing on top, glued it, and then wrapped gold foil tape around it and that's it. It cost me about $5. The gold foil was more of a ordeal than it needed to be. Well, the gold foil was because it had a sticky back that you, or a, a paper back that you had to unstick. So it was like, you're unsticking it while pulling it while trying to wrap it. It was a pain in the butt. Um, but it looks great. And that prop is like four years old. Mm -mm. No, it's only been four. I made it before, no, oh, when I moved here. So about four. Is it about? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, do you want to do shield or sword next? Let's do the, the, the shield, no, because that was 3D printed. Um, so th anything that involves canes can be done really, really easily. You can buy the, the poles at Home Depot. You can buy them at um, Michael's and Joann's and stuff like that really, really cheaply. Um, I stained it. So the stain, again, was like two bucks for the, the tiniest can of stain and was done really quickly. It dries so fast, overnight you're done. I didn't even seal it, because I didn't care. And it still has held up. And I've stepped on it like four times. So it still works. You can also make uh, the heads of canes if you have something very specific. Thank you. You can also make the heads of canes if you have like a very specific shape, um, just out of like regular like um, clay, and then glue it that way. There's seats over here, guys. It's a whole bunch. Guys, be friends. 
everyone squish together. Y'all like, everyone's tried to be scared of like not sitting next to someone. Just be friends. It's okay. Yeah. So the next one that I built, um, this one I'm actually really proud of. This one took me a little bit of time. Um, this is my rose quartz shield. I do a gender reversed um, rose quartz where I paint my beard and my hair pink and then I have the sword and I have the shield. So if Rocky turns that around, you'll see that that is a Captain America shield <laughs> that I bought from walmart.com for $6. And I bought that one because, the si again, size of my body as opposed to the ones that they would sell pre-made are too small for me. So I was like, I have to make my own because it'll match my shape better. Um, what I did is I took wood fill. And I don't know if any of you know what wood filler is. It's when you're drilling holes into wood, it's a paste that dries that you just put inside the, the drill holes to make it flush. Well, it's really cheap. A giant bucket of that, like a, like a good bucket of it, was like 10-ish dollars. I just piled on, I used like half the, the bucket on it. Smoothed it out, sanded it, made sure it was as smooth as I could possibly get it. And then I airbrush, so I own an airbrush. Most of these, for the most part, have all been airbrushed because I own it. I own a compressor, I own an airbrush. You don't have to, but I highly suggest it. And the only reason I say that is because uh, airbrush is never gonna go bad, an air compressor is never going to go bad. I've had the same airbrush that I bought 15 years ago and it still works. And I just buy paint, that's all I'm replacing. The, the same compressor that I bought as well, same thing, I still have it, it still works. <clears throat> there's seats up here, and there's also some seats over here for those of you standing in the back, and there's also seats over here on the side. Um, so I hand painted this, and then I airbrushed it as well, and then that was the end of it. This one was actually quite easy in the sense of design-wise, because I was just slapping paste on it and letting it dry, and then sanding. So that one was really, really simple, and it's really light. Um, the sword, however, was the biggest nightmare of my existence as a human being. Um, I had a friend that um, had a 3D printer and I wanted the sword really badly because I was thinking of other ways that I could have done it. I could have done it out of m multiple layers of foam, uh, but I just really didn't want to. So I asked her to 3D print it for me. And this is the second sword, by the way. This is, the first one did not make it. <laughs> so the first one made it through one con before, no, no, one. Was it, it broke on the way home. So it was made out of PLA, which is a very difficult um, plastic to glue. I always, um, no, no, it was ABS. I highly suggest if you can, if you're doing 3D printing, print in PLA, because you can melt that with acetone. So just take acetone and it melts upon itself and then it has a huge grip. This, it was a you can only buy the glue to glue this crap in Europe. Tim, there are children. I said crap. <laughs> Um, so it's, it's really difficult to work with. So if you can get the one that melts with acetone, I highly suggest that. Other than that, this is my second one. The first one looked exactly the same, painted exactly the same. Um, I couldn't hold it by the handle because it would crack. And not the plastic, just the joints. You, you had fixed it and then we went to a photo shoot no, that was, yeah, that was the, the yeah. last year, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he went to pick it up, and it just fell into, like... It literally <laughs> fell. It, I was picking it up, and it literally collapsed. Like, it just fell apart. Yeah, I was, I was done with it. I tried drilling holes in it to try to fix it to put, a, uh, like, a wooden um, dowel through it to hold it together better. No. So, I treat it like it's glass. I carry it like it's glass. I only pose with it when I'm asked, otherwise it's cradled and I don't do really sharp movement. This one's better, my friend built this for me, a different friend. He sealed it, he hot glued it, he did all this other stuff to it. Um, I don't know what he did to it because it came to me built. Um, but if you're gonna 3D print stuff, like I said before, PLA, if you can. You can buy a lot of that stuff online. Etsy sellers have a lot of that. It's cheap because the products are cheap. So if, but if you don't have a pattern for it, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. That sword retails for 250 Done. But it comes to you done. Meaning it's painted, it's glued together, it's not gonna break, et cetera, it comes done. If you're doing it yourself, it's only like, it's less than 20 bucks worth of product. It's so cheap. 3D printing is the wave of the cosplay future, and I mean that honestly, because it's so 
cheap. It's nothing to produce it. It's just electricity and filament. We have some seats over here if you guys want to come in over here on the side. And we have a couple seats up here that don't, some, for some reason, no one wants to sit next to my friend Stevie. I guess he smells. I don't know. It's his face. Uh, but we, yeah, we have, we have seats over here, guys, so everyone can come in. Um, but yeah, that, that, that sword. I hand painted that, though, by the way. Um, the next thing I'm going to go into um, is the major, the major build. Um, I'm going to start with the, the cuffs and stuff like that. Okay. Um, is my Bowser. So the one I'm wearing currently took, the shell alone took 180 hours of build time. Um, everything else was a lot easier, but that this was my first major foam build. I patterned it, everything on my own. Um, I'll start with the easy stuff that's easy to build, so in case you anything like this you have for your own cosplays, these are really, really easy. This is play foam. You can get a packet, like a giant pack of this at Walmart for like $2. And it comes with like seven different colors and you can cut it, you can glue it. It glues really well. You can sew through it. I sewed these snaps on, they're sewn in. So that they will be able to stay in better. So they're glued and sewn in and painted. Uh, I use contact cement. Contact cement is the best for gluing foam. If you're working in foam, your number one best friend is contact cement. Mm -hmm. There is barge, which is expensive, but comes in a thing that you'll never run out of. And then there's um, DAP. And DAP has smaller bottles, and those are about $5 per bottle. And with this, I went through three bottles. So <clears throat> DAP is the easiest accessible. You could buy it anywhere. You can buy it at Home Depot. You can buy it at Lowe's. You can buy it at Michael's. You can buy it anywhere. It exists. DAP, um, barge, you have to order online or go to a specialty store to buy it, but it's even better than DAP. So it's a harder hold than DAP is, and I have had no problems with DAP. So barge is the best of the best, but it's huge. And, like it's, like this big around, this tall. So unless you're building Iron Man out of foam, you're not gonna need it. You don't need that much. Just go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy the DAP. It's really cheap. Um, there's this new invention that I love more than I, I think I've loved anything else in the world of cosplay. Clay foam. So they have now made PV, or PVA foam that is moldable like clay. And it dries just like PVA foam. And it is the best thing in the world. However, it does not stick to anything but itself or other foam. So if you try to build a, let's say a um, um, tinfoil for like horns, like I always build a tinfoil um, structure base. underneath as a base, it refuses to stick to it. You can't glue it, you can't do anything, it refuses. So I actually built a, um, I built these little, the little nubs out of um, clay, baked the clay, and then took hot glue, rolled it in cornstarch, took hot glue, and made a mold. Because it's the easiest, cheapest way of making a mold. You just take hot glue, it's covered in cornstarch, you just circle what you're molding, and it pops right out, and then you have a mold that you can stuff the, the foam clay into. So that's the other easy, cheap way of making molds, hot glue, but it's, you have to cornstarch the crap out of whatever it is. And then you also have to be prepared to lose that item if you don't cornstarch it. It'll be gone forever. So be aware. Of, in a tomb of Make it something out that you don't care about to make the, the, the mold. Um, so these were just really easy. It's just folded in thirds. So it's <coughs> three times folded. So I could get the, the width that I wanted. Same thing with the little armbands. Exactly the same. I measured my arm, measured out the, the width, glued it all together. I airbrushed everything because, again, I own an airbrush. This can be hand-brushed. It can be hand-painted. When doing things like this, seal it. Please. I oh forgot to – I did touch-ups before this week, and I forgot to seal it. My wrists are covered in silver paint. Seal it. Seal your stuff so you don't forget because I did forget. Seal your paint. Seal your body paint. Just seal, seal yourself. Seal your stuff. So what I like to use, um, Krylon makes two great um, sealants. One is an acrylic, one is not. 
I just discovered the one that isn't an acrylic, and I like it better than the acrylic because it's shiny. So as you see how shiny my sword is, that's the new, uh, that's the new spray that is not acrylic, but it works on plastic, and it is a dream. It works so well. Um, the shell has the acrylic, and it's not as shiny, and I bought the high gloss. That's high gloss. So I will be redoing this one in the new super mega ultra gloss one because I want that to be a little bit shiny. Um, before I get into that, I am going to go through this um, because this, what, this is one of my favorite things that I've ever built. I built this in a week from scratch. The only thing that I purchased were the flowers and the leaves. Everything else was in the sense of like pre-made. Um, these are styrofoam balls that you can buy at Michael's. That's all they are. The, the, the white ones, not the, the rough ones, the smooth ones. And I just took a soldering iron and cut, just melted the, the foam to make the mouth shape. The teeth are the foam clay that I made a uh, um, mold out of. So each one of these was hand done. The lips are also the foam clay and I just glued and built and painted and I did the, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I have an entire story where I'm just like belittling and shaming myself for building it the week of the con. Where I'm just like, what am I doing with my life with update pictures? Everyone is just like, I hate myself and I wanna die. Look at how beautiful this is. <laughs> um, but I love this thing so much because it gives my hands something to do. And it's all the easiest thing. This, you can see on my Instagram, it's easier. You can see the whole process on it. It's really, really simple, um, but I love it. <sighs> This, Monstrum. save your questions to the end. This took me 180 hours, full time. It was eight hours a day. I lost my job last year. So when you lose your job and you have nothing to do and you're sad and lonely and depressed. Cosplay. This is what happens. I took, um, I watched one video to try to figure out how to make a pattern for myself. Again, I am a giant human. Everyone else that cosplays is a tiny human. Nothing is ever scaled for me ever. So I have to create all of my own. I took an exercise ball, wrapped it in saran wrap, and wrapped half of it in duct tape. And then I made a pattern, four, four distinct um, patterns to cut out to put on top of foam to glue like this. That is the easiest, fastest way of making a shell, is get something round that will fit the size of you. Saran wrap it, duct tape it, draw it with matching lines, cut it out, cut it out on foam. I bought foam from Foam Mart, and I regret that decision highly. It was not good foam that I got. It would not cut, it would break. So I would be slicing it and it would have extra chunks in it. And I don't know why, because I've been pretty, I've heard pretty good things about Foam Mart, but I was not happy with it. So possibly, I know Michaels and Joann's are now selling EVA foam mm -hmm. in rolls. Check it out. As much as I am not for capitalism and I prefer to do smaller businesses if possible, I was not happy with the purchases that I made at Foam Mart. I'm hoping that they've gotten better, but I was not happy with it. If you go to Foam Mart, they're in LA, they have barge and they also have DAP and they have all the foam you need. They're a great place. Check the quality first. Ask for a cut before you buy it because it was a nightmare. Um, go ahead. Maybe. Well, Yay. Yay. Um, that patterning technique that Tim was talking about, about uh, putting the saran wrap and then the duct tape, that'll also actually work for armor. Mm -hmm. um, I cosplay Judy Hopps and I made all my own armor out of just play foam and that's how I did the pattern for my vest because there is not a pattern out there for the kind of sports bra almost looking vest that she wears so I just wrap myself in saran wrap and then tape and I had my friend Sarah just like draw on my back the correct shape and then cut me out of it and that's how I was able to take the foam and then glue it together in the correct shape if you're you <laughs> You can also do that, that technique for patterning clothing as well, for fabric as well. 
cover yourself in saran wrap, duct tape, and then you, what you're doing is you're creating a physical form that you can cut yourself out of. Um, it works really well. And you can also build a um, form. Uh, dress form, a dress form out of duct tape and saran wrap and just stuff it with foam. You can make your, that matches your body. So that's really, really cool. Um, so with this, um, once all four seams were together. Do you want to show them the inside? Not yet. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess you can. You can see the seams better. I'm also a psychopath, so I paint the inside. <laughs> um, but you see all the seams? Um, that's, what, that's what the four seams were. That was four pieces that I glued into one. Um, go ahead and put it down. The way that I found out that I couldn't put the foam clay on tin foil was because I was trying to do that for the spikes to make them more round. Um, when that didn't work out, I spent 15 minutes crying and then another 20 doing geometry that I never took in high school because I never made it to geometry in high school. Those are three triangles. Um, isosceles, I think, because they're taller on the top. Yes? Yes. Geometry kids? Yeah? Yes. Yeah, okay, I'm, I don't know. It's the two longer sides and then the smaller side is yes. the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Um, I glued them together. So side by side. So there was one in the middle and two on the side. And then I glued the two ends together to make a cone. So every single one of those is three triangles each plus other foam. <laughs> Needless to say, that is also on my Instagram with me, like, just like, I don't want to do this anymore. This um, entire cosplay was a process. It was a lot. It was a lot. Um, the little, I don't know. I don't Cone know what, cuffs. I don't know what those are. I don't know what they call them. But the he, orange bits. He has them. And then also the, the liner is um, pipe insulation. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Um, go ahead. You want to show them the inside? Yeah. I, I hide my stuff really well. Look at how many times I've repainted that and how many chips there are. It refuses to take paint. I don't know how it worked on the orange bits, but it worked on the orange bits and I'm very grateful. But for the white, it has been an absolute nightmare and I'm gonna have to replace that whole thing. It's so awful, don't do it. They have a smooth pipe foam and they have the, the textured. textured. I got the textured thinking that it would be better. Learn from my mistakes. Please answer that. No, it's <laughs> Tell Spock I'm waiting. <laughs> um, I airbrushed, of course. I painted this all white. I did a full base coat of white and then um, taped off every one of the horns and painted the shell first, then taped off the rest of the shell and painted all of the orange and then taped off the orange and painted all. Uh, well, I didn't have the dye. I left it all white. Um, there are armholes or arm divots that I put into it, but the foam wouldn't connect the way that I wanted it to through the armhole, so I just said F it and just went over it and just, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm just too tired to care. Um, the way I constructed this with a friend um, to make this go through my costume where you can't see it is the most ingenious thing that I've ever seen, and she had done it before. If you see, I don't know how many of you can see. Do you want me to hold it up? I don't know if they'll be able to see it because they're small. Okay. There's two large buttonholes in the neck of my cosplay. At the top of my cosplay, there are two elastic bands. So it's like a backpack. So I pinned, glass pinned and glued the top of the elastic to the very top of that. And the same thing for the bottom, it also has one that goes around my waist so it stays in place. That's the easiest way of hiding a shell or something on your back that shouldn't be attached that way that you can do. That's the easiest way. So if you ever want to do that where you want to do a shell or you want to do uh, something attached that isn't have that, so you don't have the, have the backpack straps that everyone has when they do things like this, shove it through, do it through the neck, and then do it around the waist and no one will ever see it. Really, really, really simple. Um, I Shiny did the lining, paper. the lines of the, I don't, what the hell, they, I don't know what they're called. What are they called? What, Each, what the little the little sections <laughs> on the turtle? Yeah, yeah but I don't know the what they're called. The geometric bits. Any, in any case, the lines. Yeah, the, lines. Yeah, the sections of the shell are just soldering iron. I just took my hot soldering iron and just, I drew it out first and then I just ran my hot soldering iron 
and it melted exactly the way that I wanted it to. Foam in heat, you can seal it with heat or make it so it'll be easily paintable with a heat gun. Or you can also do designs in it with a soldering iron. You can do fine tip, that kind of things. Super simple, it's great. EVA foam is a blessing for cosplay when you don't have a lot of money. Because the EVA foam that I bought was under $50 for what I needed. It's really cheap. Most of everything that I, that I spent, I spent less than $200 on this. On the shell, it was about 100 after everything was said and done. Yeah, it was really cheap. Not So if so so someone asked me, uh, I've had numerous questions if I would be willing to make those again and sell them. And I said, it'll cost you at least $700 because of the amount of time it took. Like I spent 180 hours doing this. It was almost a full month, eight hours per day, making this happen correctly. And you want it for $100? No, you can kiss my entire butt. <laughs> All of it. It's it is lot. going to be, it's a lot. It was so much effort to make it happen correctly and for it to look that good, because it looks good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm, I'm usually not very much like, oh, I look great, no, I look great. <laughs> it looks great. Um, so, because I, I spent, it was such a passion project for me that I wanted to make sure that it looked as good as humanly possible, and I think it does. So, Yay. yeah. You want to talk about your tail? No, because that's costume, not propy. Fine. This is props. <laughs> it's props. I'll tell you. It's stuff for your hands. I but I didn't even make the tail. My tail. I didn't make my tail, because I have a fr- I have a sewer friend that doesn't like it when I do things. Because I'm relatable. I'm not, I'm not the best sewer. Like I I can sew stuff. But if I don't understand it, I'll make it work on my own, in my own way. And I did that in front of my friend and I thought she was going to pass out. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm sewing, stop talking to me. <laughs> just like shoving it through. It's like making horrible sounds in the sewing machine. I'm like, just don't listen. <laughs> it's fine. So she made my tail. We went to the, the garment district um, and found the closest fabric that I could find for his color, for his tail. Um, it's three pieces. It's literally three pieces is all it is. But it also weighs like 20 pounds because I filled it too full. <laughs> it has so much polyfill in it. Like, it's a brick. It pulls. I have to wear suspenders. I have suspenders. Because if I don't, my tail makes my pants fall off. <laughs> With a belt. I'm wearing a belt. It's that heavy. We, so. could, we could talk about our baby. <laughs> Our, oh, uh, yeah. Well, see, we didn't really make that. We just painted it. Well, still, but we were able to find a good deal on it. Yeah, we went. So we do a, a, a couple's cosplay of um, Jedi Sully, and then she's Jedi Boo. And we were doing it for D23, and the night before we were going to debut them at D23, we're like... People are going to ask us, well, cause we where were, cause is Mike? She was Mabel, and I was, um, I was Grunkle Stan, but we didn't have a dipper. So all day, all day, where's Dipper? He's dead. Stop <laughs> asking us. Um, so we, we got really irritated with it at the end of the day. And so we're like, we were so tired and we knew it was going to happen the very same day. Or people, people. Did we get Korean barbecue first? No, we got chilies. Thank you. <laughs> people like, we'll see Tim and understand what he is. And I have like gotten like slow. Not really. You're quite Jedi getting, Chihiro. I've gotten Jedi Chihiro. I've gotten Dora the Explorer. Oh, you did. I got Dora the Explorer at D23 she have this a past bob year. Wig. It's, a, it's a pigtail wig, and they're like, Dora the Explorer. It's, sure. Okay, sure. If that makes you happy, sure. Sure. At D23. Um, but we knew it was going to happen because people were going to ask us, where's Mike? Yeah. Where is Mike? Where's Mike Wazowski? When they're not busy calling Sully Mike Wazowski because. Disney kids Is Mike still Wazowski? No, it's not. It's not. It's really not. Um, and we're like, okay, fine. We will find something to be Mike. But I had gone to Target earlier that week and saw that they had a life size BB 8. It was not one that rolls. Like I they thought do it now. did, and it was only 50 bucks. We're like, oh, I'm like, it's only 50 bucks. She's like, does it roll? I'm like, yeah. We get there, it doesn't roll. <laughs> not only does it not roll, but the pegs that are made to, for it to stand up immediately fall off and are lost to the ether. So now when we post with him, yourself. right? Because it happened at con. I know, well, it didn't so we bought it. We them. bought it at 10 p.m. But the it was, day before 
the second day of D23. And he was missing his antenna, so we went up to the front and we got, and we got a discount. for like $20. <laughs> yeah, we got it really, really cheap. So look for broken stuff. <laughs> Fix it yourself. No one will notice. It doesn't have any of the antenna anymore. We've lost all of it. So Every awesome. little extra part that came with it is gone. <laughs> They're all gone. So we get to my house at around 10, 1030, and we start taping it off to paint it green. Green. <laughs> So to make now, it Mike Wazowski. So now when we do that cosplay, like it's like, oh, oh. And then they see the baby eight and they're just like, oh, it's Mike Wazowski. Yes, that's Mike Wazowski. I'm not. <laughs> but now when we have to pose with him, we have to like very strategically put him We have him to hold him with our, our feet or hold him physically because we walked into the con with all three peg legs on. They we were all gone. We get to the front entrance. One is gone already. <laughs> We don't. We didn't stop to pose for anyone, and it was gone from the Uber to the front door, and we don't know what happened to it. By the end of the day, we had one peg left, which is useless. So we threw it out. <laughs> so if you ever see us posing with that on Instagram, you'll the see struggle. our feet really close together and the baby's wedge. We call him the baby. We because we have to carry between our him feet. like a child. He's a, he's a circle. He's a be- he's a ball, so he doesn't sit up straight. That's why he had pegs. So you can do things like with prop making with that. Like we just bought it, but we repurposed it for to be what we wanted it to be, and that worked out really well for us. Keeping your eyes out, especially in like Joanne's, especially now that it's according to Joanne's Christmas time. There is so much random, like. Christmas decorations especially that you can absolutely repurpose like the top of the eight ball cane. Um, I made, uh, if you've ever seen Gravity Falls, the last few episodes, they have a rift that is a tear in the universe that they have contained in this little thing. And I've used, I used a clear, yeah, it was, a, no, it was, it was a Christmas ornament. It was just a really big Christmas what ornament. Had a screw, it was a snow globe base because it screwed, didn't it? The bottom screwed off. Oh, you're right. Yeah, no, it was a, so it was a plastic snow globe where you can make your snow globe where you take the bottom off, you glue stuff to the top of it, and then you sc- put it in the water and screw it in. It was like, yeah, I was like, what are you talking about? No, no, it was an ornament. In any case, yes, you can you can go to Michael's and get clear stuff now. Mm-hmm. Like, if you want to feel something clear that's sp- spherish or triangle-ish or something, anything that so looks like a, an now. ornament that you can attach to something, now is the time because now it's really cheap. Another great way to find very cheap props, um, I have done five different versions of the Riddler. And the Halloween Club sells the Riddler canes for like $10. And I've used it now for four or five years. And they're sturdy. How many of you are like local LA, like LA County? You are all blessed. I live in Ohio now. I can't find anything. How many of you are like from like Orange County or um, for the South? Okay. Okay. So, um, LA people, I don't know if the woman, Halloween Club is off the five, right before Anaheim, right at the very, very beginning of Orange County. That's open. It's this this one that's open twenty four hour or uh, all year long. Mm-hmm. They sell specialty mel- makeup and they sell specialty props all year. So if you're looking for something you can't find it online, go there. They have almost every garbage thing you could ever want. What's it called again? Halloween Club. It's fantastic. Which is, there's no membership, which I, I'm just like, no. don't call it a club. It can be a club. Like, you're a lie. You're just Halloween time. It should be Halloween time, 365. <laughs> um, what else? Oh. I love them. Um, um, I'm going to open it up to um, um, yeah, go questions. For it. Um, so if you have any questions at this point about anything that I have discussed or anything that you're working on that you may not know how to move forward with, that's what I'm here for because this is the last 20 minutes. I like to do the last 20 minutes as... Um, as Q and A, um, so I knew he was first um, a while ago, and then I will come directly to you. Respirators are amazing and inexpensive. You can buy them at Lowe's and Home Depots relatively inexpensively. I suggest um, 3M always. 3M has the best seal on the mouth, and it also the filters are easily replaceable and f- um, can be found um, at Walmart and a couple other stores as well. I think um, also Target. Um, but the cheapest place to buy them is Home Depot. But yes, absolutely do that. I am a garbage human, and I never wear it. I'm gonna get cancer anyway, so who cares? Like, I'm just, <laughs> just screw it. I'm, just, it's fine. <laughs> but for you, yes, you should. 
but, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, this was also a process. I have a giant head, and I when I say giant head, my head is like eighteen plus inches around, if not bigger, probably twenty two. Because if my neck's twenty two, yeah, no, it's like twenty twenty four. It's huge. I have a giant head, and I can't find hats. I was at um, the fashion district. No, 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 no. I bought this at the Halloween store. Halloween not, club. No, 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 not that one. Spirit. The, what's the one that take, that, that's like a leech that, that takes over dead businesses? Spirit. I found this in Spirit, but it wasn't this color. This was black. And so, yeah, oh, I do not mess around when it comes to painting things a different color. It absorbed. This had... So much paint. I went through 16 ounces of paint on this. Spray or brush? Airbrushed. But it's still acrylic. It was just acrylic, the, the super cheapy... Yeah, yeah. Um, when you're doing things like um, prop making with foam and um, fabric and styrofoam, you should always use acrylic mm -hmm. because it's a plastic. If you use spray paint, it could eat it. Yeah. So I always, if you find things, find acrylic. Um, always when it comes to painting. And if you can't airbrush it, that's understandable. Not everyone can afford it. It's, it's painted on. Always painted on. Well, it depends on what you're talking about. Like, and what you're using it for. I go to Walmart and get that, that 50 cent acrylic garbage that has the little apple on it. What do you think I painted this with? You can make anything work if you try hard enough. <laughs> I will, uh, I wanna stand up, I'm tired. Too bad. <laughs> go Tim, go. Oh. Incredible. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll come down with, uh, towards you and show my shoes. Oh, oh. okay. Wow, well, now everyone uh, has two. questions. Oh, huh. I saw that hand go up what first. What do you think, is, what would be the best medium to use to make, like, uh, the gun? Would it be foam? Would Thank it you for bringing that let's up. Let's talk about let's, safety let's, coloring. Yeah, let's talk about that. Most conventions at this point, because of the society that we live in, is no longer allowing realistic looking guns, which for someone that has done um, Borderlands cosplays before, um, and I built giant guns, is very sad. But at the same time, I respect the wishes of the people who are producing these conventions, because I've also produced conventions before. The safety of the people that are there is more important than my desire to cosplay. And I will always stand by that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> when you're talking about guns, I just say stray away from them if possible, if at all possible, just because they probably won't even let it in. Mm -hmm. Even if it's fake, even if it's safety colored, some places are harder than others. Like here, it's really hard here. They're really, really st strict about it. Anime Expo, I helped write that weapon policy. I used to work for Anime Expo. So the weapons policy that you have there, I helped create. And I created it because I'm a cosplayer. So when you go to Anime Expo, you can do the little bit more realistic guns there because a lot of anime involves a lot of weaponry. Read the rules first. Number before you start building. Yeah. Read the rules first, whatever convention you're going to. Do they have a safety color list? They should. They have a federal and they have a state. Federal is it can be black, but it has to have an orange tip. California, specifically Los Angeles, 50% of it has to be safety color. White, pink, blue, green, yellow, if you orange. Are, if you are worried about this not looking realistic, guess what? Photoshop is a fantastic thing and you can paint it any color you want in post. But it is important if, for the safety of other people. And for yourself. And for yourself. You don't want to get tackled by If a you're cop. a person of color cosplay, oh my people gosh, have please. been shot for fake guns please. and this is not okay. So make sure that you're following those rules very, very distinctly. I'm sorry to get a little bit heavy about that, but I'm very passionate about this. So, Thank yeah. you. Um, this young lady right over here. Okay. Sure. Go for it. Spirit gum? Spirit gum is your, to your best face. friend. So there's a, there's a wonderful thing called spirit gum, and it's, used, it's a, a skin adhesive. Um, that will attach it to your face, and usually you can last. Well, it, a lot if of you're people me, use it, for it doesn't last through sweat. Yeah, that's what the, uh, that's I sweat 
So if you're super sweaty, bring your bottle with you. Bring your bottle with you, but also um, Mehran. So Mehran is a um, big, big it, Mehran. <laughs> I hate you so it, it, much. I, know. I love you. Um, makes the strongest spirit gum. Mm-hmm. Like, and I mean, like painful to get off spirit gum. <laughs> but it, they should include a remover with it. They do. Yeah, yeah. So you you, you just, use a remover. For that, you can either rip it off like a Band-Aid or you just start I'm really dabbing I'm really impatient that. and I get really, I'm like, yeah, I same. don't care. I don't wait for the thing. I just rip no, it off. No, and, the, and then you, then you can rub the remover on And it, it'll, it'll you know? remove the, the spirit gum. Or you can just stand in the shower and scrub it at with Dawn soap for like No, don't, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> did, did you? Did, <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What? Yes, actually, I did that with the, with the sword, and it, it takes practice, and it's not always the best. So when you're painting it, let it dry, un, untape it, seal it. Then tape the other side mm-hmm. after it's dried. Yes. Paint it, take the tape off, seal it again. When you're doing colors that are like in the sword, if you do it right next to each other, tape, seal, tape, paint, seal, tape, paint, seal. Always, whenever you're doing anything like that, because what it is is that the tape will no longer peel up the paint when you're painting the other side. So that's the easiest way. Don't worry, I'll come back. I promise. We can always talk afterwards. Yeah, I have time. Perfect. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Mehran. <laughs> so it's Mehran. It's, 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 it's French. It is actually supposed to be pronounced Mehran. It's M E H. Me. R. O N. Yeah, yeah. R O N. There's also Krylon. Krylon and Mehran are the same the same company, but Mehran is the one that does better. It's the higher the higher level. It's it's not Krylon like the spray paint. It's Krylan. Oh God, don't do that. Kry, uh, K-R-Y-L-A-N, not K-R-Y-L-O-N. <laughs> one's a spray paint, one's a body paint. Don't spray paint your body, for the love of God. <laughs> um, but then after you do your body paint, seal it. Seal it. Seal it and seal it again. And if you think, oh, I'm sealed, seal it one more time. So powder? Powder. Lots so of powder. So you start with translucent powder, especially if you're using a cream-based. If you're using an airbrush-based... Um, you won't. You probably won't need the powder because they usually dry in a different way. Mm-hmm. But if you're using cream based, you have to powder it with translucent powder, and then seal it with a alcohol sealer. And those are. Um, you live in LA, yeah? Orange County. Okay, so there's a couple places in Orange County where you can buy the stuff really easily. But the best place to buy it is Friends. I don't know if any of you know about Friends Makeup Store. It's magical. If you don't know about Friends Makeup Store, you are very sadly out of luck. It's F R E N D. Z friends, I think it's spelled wrong. Um, it is a makeup score store that has professional makeup as well as beauty makeup. Mm-hmm. Um, they also a, have special effects pricey, upstairs. A little bit more expensive than Amazon, but they have everything, and they have people that will tell you how to do it correctly. If you ever need fake blood, blood, they sell it by the gallon. They sell there. it in gallon jugs. Uh, North it's Hollywood. In Nor- yeah. This gentleman in the hat, he's been waiting. Then I'll do you. Mm. And you have one thing that is of higher quality mm-hmm. and kind of sticks out. Okay. Would you say it would be better to stick to the lower quality or just have that one thing that kind of sticks out that it looks good? How badly does it stick out? I mean, does it look like Play-Doh and then you have a glass ball? Then you may want to get rid of the glass ball and put a, uh, uh, put a Play-Doh. And I, and I mean that honestly. Like, if it looks, if it stands out that badly, yes. Or... Try your hardest to make the rest of it look as good as that. The best thing is, no one needs to see the inside of your cosplay. This microphone stinks. I just smelled it. Stop <laughs> sniffing it. I was just like, I was like, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Gentleman with the glasses behind. Um, aside from the whole porn star thing that you're discussing, mm-hmm. is there any other sort of like cosplay that you wish you discovered prior to working on the project? Oh my God. 
God. Fabric glue. <laughs> oh, Fabertac. Oh, sweet buttery Jesus, Fabertac. <laughs> So everyone who has ever done any felt crafting in like elementary school, you know how they give you like I think it's like Allen's or something. The Eileen's. Eileen's, whatever it is. Do not. It comes buy in that a garbage. gold bottle with a white cap. It is terrible. Don't ever use it. I beg of you because it's just water yes. masquerading as glue. I don't understand why. I don't understand why anyone buys it. It is the worst glue. There, There's this thing called Fabri-Tac. It is the most magical glue you will ever have as a cosplayer in your entire life. I have put together entire cosplays with it. I made an entire sewing. vest out of with using fabric it you have to be really careful with it because i have it had it explode. explode and then it's just a ball of plastic that's it Fabri-tac. that is the holy grail fabric tag is the it best is. thing in the whole world oh my god it dries like a flexible plastic it will fuse to your fabric and it dries better than so anything. fast it, it dries so fast it just when I discovered Fabric so Tag, I was like, I literally was like, I don't ever have to really sew again. I've never felt so happy. I've never felt more alive. And it's washable. And it's washable. Yes, you can do a whole cosplay with it and throw it in the washing machine and it'll stick. Yes. Uh, concerning Orange County, what co- what locations would you go for cosplayers? Um, so um, we have tons of Joannes. We have tons of Michaels. We also have a lot of um, indie stores that aren't that great. Um, when it comes to fabric, unfortunately, if I'm buying fabric, I come to LA. If Make I'm, a day that's out the of end. It. That's the end of it. I'm not doing it in Orange County. If I'm buying makeup, I thankfully have it's this magic. Store. I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head. It was a magic store, and a costume shop, right by Disneyland. It's really close to Disneyland in Anaheim. It is three stores long. It is owned by the gayest, <laughs> most wonderful old gentleman who I love so dearly because he's just the sweetest pie. And they have a little makeup session of, of Mehran and other stuff like that. Um, they also have props, but not as much as Hollywood. So I have like one minute left. So um, the gentleman in the hat behind you, I think, had a question first. What do you use to dye your skin? Um, paint. Acrylic paint. <laughs> and an airbrush. I normally, it is airbrush, but normally, um, I'm broke, guys. I have no money. Um, I usually use Vibe body paint, which is a water-based um, um, body paint. I just use that usually because it washes right out. But because I, I have no money, I just use acrylic. I just water down. It also washes right out. And it does wash out, but it, it comes off in clumps. It's valid. Huh? Okay. It's valid. It is valid. I think we have one more, and then we have to wrap. Krylon. That one is Krylon. So there's Krylan, which is makeup. Krylon, which is paint. Uh, spray paint. I think, I think I think that's it. Just one we more. We have to. I'm gonna wait for them to kick us out. Okay, fair. Oh God. No. <laughs> if you want it to look gold, like the actual metal, no. And I hate saying that. Is it's, it a small it's the detail? It's worst. Is it's it a large, big... isn't it? Is it a piece of armor? No. Oh, oh no. No. Nope. Just take take your time. Mask it off. Take your time and breathe. And do it take in sections. T- and chunk it. Don't do it all at once. Yeah. Take do a step like back. Sections this large. That's it. Take a step back. Breathe. Cry. Everything will be fine. Drink some coffee. You'll be fine. It'll be great. So anyone else? We have like Wait, two seconds. Sometimes some of it. So I'm not a tutorial Instagram. I'm a glamour Instagram. Um, I do have some of my stuff on there, but it's Simba Kuhn, S-I-M-B-A-K-U-N. Um, I, Instagram. I'm trying to reach 5,000 followers. I only have like 120 left. Please help. I are sad and, and, and... Yeah, I, I just love the idea of being at 5,000. That's all he That's wants. That's it. I don't even care what happens after that. If I, I, I just don't care. I'm like, just, I just want that one number. <laughs> I'm fat, I'm old, and I'm 42 years old. Get me to 5,000, please. <laughs> I deserve this. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. You guys. I appreciate you all coming out. And if you have more questions, we'll, we'll be, be in the outside. Hallway.